Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to perfect your corn on the cob. We're going to start with a Mexican street corn and we're going to finish it with a seasoned butter. All you want to do is start peeling your sweet delicious corn. The key ingredient to boiling your corn is going to be beef broth. If you don't have access to fresh beef broth, do not use the canned version. Just go ahead and use whatever chicken broth you have on hand. Or you can even mix your chicken bouillon with a little bit of warm water and boil it that way. You're going to take two tablespoons of instant corn masa, also known as maseca, and you're going to add a little bit of milk at a time. You want to dissolve your instant corn flour into the milk. And what the milk's going to do, it's going to keep our corn nice and tender. And when you take a bite out of it, it's going to snap going to snap and all that delicious juiciness from the corn is going to explode in your mouth. You're going to add that into your beef broth. You're going to add that into your pot. Oh, I need to dissolve that a little bit more. You're going to place your burner on high because you want this to come up to a vigorous boil. Once your pot reaches a boil, you're going to start adding your corn. You're going to continue to boil on a medium heat for 15 minutes. And while our corn is boiling, we're going to get started on our seasoned butter. You're going to add half a tablespoon of uh, neutral oil, add two sticks of butter, And I'm going to be using half a tablespoon of my favorite Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning. It's delicious, but if you don't have this on hand, you can use any other seasoning that you have. You can use your taco seasoning or even some steakhouse seasoning. All of those will work for this recipe. So you can start with half a tablespoon or you can use a full tablespoon. It's going to be up to you to adjust to taste. You're going to use one tablespoon of lemon pepper. And to get this to pop in your mouth, you're going to want to use two tablespoons of the Roses Sweetened Lime Juice from Concentrate. Now, if you don't want to use this, I'll tell you when to add your lime juice. If you love cilantro, you're going to add a little bit of chopped cilantro. Turn off your burner. And that's when you're going to add your fresh lime juice. Give that a loving mix. Oh, I just want to jump in there. It's so, so good. Give or take 15 to 20 minutes, your corn is ready. And you'll see as it boils, you'll get some of your corn masa to come to the top and that's okay, that adds so much flavor. I definitely suggest you taste this broth and do not dispose of it. Use it to make some soup. Let me tell you, whoever loves corn is gonna love that soup that you make. And you guys already know what I'm gonna make. It's fideo. Now you're gonna have options. You can dip all of the corn into this delicious butter seasoning. Now regardless if you're making your Mexican street corn, it doesn't matter. I definitely suggest you dip it into your seasoned butter because it's gonna enhance the flavor and it's just absolutely delicious. And if you're serving this party style, it's perfect to dip it in here and then you can place it into uh, your slow cooker. They stay nice and warm and buttery. And then everybody can just put their favorite toppings over it. And once you boil your corn, it's super easy to insert your stick and give it that true authentic street corn flavor. <laughs> it's gonna make a difference, okay? Now in order to get that good flavor in your Mexican street corn, you're gonna need the McCormick Mayonesa with lime. Be very generous with your mayonnaise. Dip it in your cotija cheese. Sprinkle your tajin. And then if you would like a little bit of hot sauce, you can pour your hot sauce right on over that. And then they're easy to roll up for all your guests to enjoy for your barbecue season. 
you can use a sticker, a little piece of tape, and boom, done. I'm going to need somebody very special to say, uh, I'm not sure how many of you know this about me, but there's a few things I don't eat in public and corn on the cob is one. But if you guys so happen to eat some, make sure to tag us on our social media. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope that you had a corny time with us. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.